the end of the season, exit interviews, all of those sort of things, he's not going to just jump out and give America what they want. He already knows what you're looking for. The first thing that people are going to walk in and <laughs> it asks him is a question about the quarterback. He knows that. He's already sat in the room with the PR guy, and he's looking for those questions. He's waiting for somebody to try to be slick, so he has an answer. Carson Wentz is going to be their quarterback next but year. But why not answer it, Jay, the way – the way, he, he, He's not going to do it. But he, he did it for, for, for a dude – who actually wound up retiring in Phillip Rivers. But Why the dude can't had he been there for a very long time and felt like it was a staple part of the organization. Like, I feel like there was a different relationship there with Phillip Rivers than there was with Carson. years was Phillip Rivers there? No, Jay, Jay means his relationship with yeah, one year. Frank Wright has been, was there for an extended period, period of time, time in San Diego. Uh-huh, yes, that's uh-huh. what Jay meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, look, maybe it's because Rivers is may not play, and you're trying to convince him to play because you don't have a better option at that moment. But you didn't have a better option at that moment. But you don't have a better option than Wentz at the moment, do you? Uh, you don't. But if I open myself up to Carson Wentz, now I'm opening up myself to Darius Leonard, to Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman Jr., T.Y. Hilton. I'm starting to now. You're going to start asking me questions about everybody. But, but, so I'm but, not ready to answer anything right now. But that's what I'm saying, Key. Like, it could just be as simple as the fact that he could be somewhat confident, but maybe he doesn't really know. Mm. Like, and, and that's okay. You don't have to say that publicly. You don't have to say that you're not really sure. But you have a guy that you went out, you got a first, you know, you're able to trade a first-round pick, right? You but got that's Carson Wentz. sure. Well, you have no other choice but to be sure. That's why you should. That's I mean, what I'm saying. Like, that's why you're not going to say you're, if you're not sure or not. You're like, on the this hook. is what it's going to be. You're on the hook. He has to play next year, and we have to achieve our goals. So next I'm trying year, to see. If we don't, we can cut him. So the difference between this and Philip Rivers is you, with Philip Rivers, he can do what he wants to do, whatever. But Carson Wentz, you're married to anyway for at least another season. So since that, I don't know. To me, that doesn't make a lot of sense, only because you could get the questions about all the other guys on the team last year, too. It didn't stop him from giving Philip Rivers, saying, yeah, we want Philip Rivers, period. But I'm not ready at the end of the season in my exit interview to start talking about what my roster is going to look like come next year. But there's a lot to that goes with being a successful quarterback. You've got to have successful personnel around you. Yes, Jonathan Taylor's great. Michael Pittman Jr. is good. But Michael Pittman Jr. is more of a two than a bona fide one. Agreed. And that's okay. Yeah. T.Y. Hilton is a little up there in age. So they've got to figure out what to do to get him a little bit more help. And I think he played well enough to warrant him a second year in a new system, because everybody just automatically assumes, Jay, Max, Frank Wright, Philadelphia, he was there. It's the same system they ran. It's not. First year with the new team. First year with a new team. Uh, Jay, on the but, other hand, Carson Wentz, it, like he was talking about this yesterday, you, you don't need him to be Superman. You need him to hold it down, not make mistakes, and then two or three times a game, can he get you over the top? Because well, he has what, that kind of talent. Jeff just said the same thing. Right, but, but Jay, if he's not – giving you the big play, and you're relying on Carson Wentz to game manage? Well, so this is what I find interesting about this situation, and I, I, I truly understand what Key was saying about the personnel around. But, like, Key, I find it funny that when, for a guy like Carson, like we then start talking about the talent that's surrounding him, right? And we start saying, well, you upgrade a couple of positions, and I can relieve things for Carson Wentz. I think when you look at a lot of the balls that Carson threw, man, like it, it felt like regardless of who the personnel was, like it was bad ball sometimes. Just like bad balls. Like it wasn't about, hey, if you gave him more options, that would make him better. It was just he's not making other people better. Well, it, I, clearly the interception that he threw against the Jaguars was, I don't even know what that was. But even I, those shuffle passes they threw. There's multiple always times a couple of those with Wentz. Whenever always. you need him, always, there's always, the key, you will be sitting here going, I, I don't know if that, that play, I don't know about Wentz. I mean, this is this dude. Man, that pass he threw against the Jags, I'm like, what the hell are you looking what, at? What are you doing? You can fix that. People have been saying that. For but hey, by the way, by the way, Kilo, that. this is the best that. part about that line, and it only brings me back to it, Max. How many times have we been on our key? And where Key's like, "There's always some coach I can fix that. <laughs> fix it. I can fix that. There's some coach that's going to take a chance, and I can fix that." I, it feels like Carson Wentz is who Carson yeah, Wentz you can is. Squint. But, he, but but in all honesty, let's be fair. 
he didn't play as bad as he did. He didn't play as bad as he did a couple years ago. That's, fair. That's true. That's he had fair. a good bounce back season. You can squint and see what you want with a lot of players. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.